हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन कुल आई टी हेल्प एंड आई होप यू डूइंग वेल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन अप्लाई दिस सी एस एस इन योर जॉब एफ एक्स एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड नाउ आई हैव ओपन इट द नेट बीन्स आई डी ई वर्ज इन इट एट पॉइंट जीरो नाउ गो टू द फाइल मेन्यू एंड चूज द न्यू प्रोजेक्ट and here choose the second option java fx and choose the third option java fx fx ml application click continue now here in the text box uh type a uh, your sole name for your project so i am taking it as java fx css example okay now click on the finish button once you click it will set up a java fx project for you now go to the left side and you will see the under the project tab we have this project now expand it now in this package we have three files fxml document dot fxml and the second one is fxml document controller dot java and the third one is java fx css example dot java okay now first i will start to change the gui now i will check what is the location of this fxml file file and i will find out and then i will open it in a scene builder 2.0 okay If you have not installed the Scene Builder 2.0, you can download it from the Java website and down install it. Now, right click, choose the property, and uh, here you see that the three dots. Click on it, and you will get the path where the file is residing. So, go to the Spotlight Search, paste this path here, and. Uh, just remove the file name then you will get the path and it will move to you the location now here it is fxml just double click on it it will open with scene builder now here scene builder window is open just expand it little bit and here i have a single button by default okay now i will add one more control okay if you facing any difficulty to find out the control okay go to here the search bar box and type the text field now drag and drop the text field here on the anchor pan okay i am choosing this text field because i am going to apply the css on it and i will set the background color for that and will demonstrate you how you can use it okay now just save that all these things and close all the windows now this is a source package uh, right click new and choose the folder now create the new folder css and click on the finish now you can see that in the parallel of this java fx css example package we have another folder now click on the it right click and choose new and uh, select this cascading style sheet new if you're not able to find out you just type on the search cascade you will get this type and choose it now give a name for your cascading style sheet click on the finish button and dot css file will open here in the editor of this net beans okay now we have to apply this css so what we'll do we come to the javafx css example dot java file at line number 
come to this line line number 25 we will the scene object we will apply this style sheet by calling this method scene dot get style sheets dot add and the name of the style sheet you need to pass as a parameter so we will give the relative path for that so slash css slash sample dot css if you have chosen different one so you can give the path so make sure you place the slash because our css file is inside the css folder which is inside the source package so this way we will adding this css on the scene and whatever the css we will return it will be applied on the controls so once you're done just save it now come to the css okay so in the same way we have uh, used the html and we applied the css there so the same type of css we will apply here but how we will do i will show you so we will see two things first we will change the color of the background of the text file we will change the background color of text field and we will change the color of button and then we will change the root background color i mean to say this is the parent stage on which we have these two control placed so in this way we will see these three things okay so here it is our fxml file now you can see that the button is already there and we have a text field and this is our root pen okay now for saving the time i have already written the css the small css so i will explain you one by one okay now here so in this way once you refer the button whatever the css you want to apply so you just type dot button and this uh, curly braces now you have to type hyphen fx hyphen background hyphen color colon red and remove this line this is not useful right now so we just changing the background color of the button okay you can see at the line number 18 there's a fx background color colon red so you can give the hexadecimal values of the color at that place okay i have chosen the red you can give the red green blue whatever you want what type of uh, okay now come to the second dot text hyphen fields so we applying the css and we going to change the background color in the same way fx background color colon forest green here you also choose the name of the color or you can give the hexadecimal the third one is the pen the root pen we going to change the background color of the root pen so you will put dot root then curly braces then you have to specify fx hyphen background hyphen color colon by sec so you can give the red blue green orange or an hexadecimal color combination in this style sheet so we have done these three things we have changed the color of the button and we have changed the background color of text field and the color of the root now execute the program now here you can see that the fx background color is red which is set for button now okay so this was the default button click event executed and dot text hyphen field so this was a text field and i have set it to the forest green color now you can type it inside 
and uh, you can see in the background this is the dot root which is the parent and we have uh, set the background color bisect which is light orange something light orange so you can change it to the other color as well so let me try it I am setting it to the blue ok just save it now execute once again oh wow it's a solid blue color you can see that the color has been changed so this CSS is very awesome and you can apply the CSS on your various controls and you can get a rich look and feel for your JavaFX application. So this was the CSS and in a similar way you can apply more CSS on your various fields. You can try it in on more or explore it. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe my channel and press notification bell to get new video updates. Thanks for watching.